Okay, so what we're looking right now is we're looking at a atrial flutter. Okay, atrial flutter, what you're gonna notice is, you know, a lot of times you'll see a, a rapid rhythm. What's the heart rate here? 151, okay, that's kind of like your cutoff range between, uh, uh, you know, basic uh, atrial tachycardia and supraventricular uh, atrial tachycardia. But if you're looking at this, notice, what do you notice? That the R to R's are what? They're well, they're narrow, but what else? They're regular, right? Yeah. Do you notice that they're regular? It, this is really important. Do you notice that in between each of the R waves you have like a uh, sawtooth? Yeah. An up and down sawtooth? This is, this is atrial flutter. Atrial flutter is going to be differentiated from atrial fibrillation by the uh, regularity of the uh, R to R peaks. Okay. So by the R to R peaks being normal and we have the flutter waves in between the R to R so those are the flutter waves they go up and down up and down up and down okay that is atrial flutter now watch I'm gonna switch to atrial fibrillation and what's gonna happen here is that what do you notice we've got the flutter waves in between but the R to R peaks are what yeah, irregular. they're irregular right Heart rate is still high. It doesn't necessarily always have to be high. Heart rate is uh, consistently, um, you know, changing too. Do you see how the heart rate's changing? So this is um, atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. Look, and you see the heart rate's changing. 191, and it's changing. Okay.